Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 12th of September and we are stealing three parts of the Ossard experiment, avoiding alarms. Uh, we are glitch sick and X glitcher once again. Uh, but we've got a slipstream. Three uses of slipstream for each mission. Very nice. And even if we run out of that, we've got a hammer and emergency crash beams, sovereign cold fire. All right. I'm liking this. Okay, armored guards. Uh, we do need to be wary of setting off the alarm. So that's, that might be a bit difficult, but there's usually ways around. Ah, it's gonna be a bit of an annoying docking spot. Alarm response time is 30 seconds, which means it's orbiting maybe that. Yeah. Hopefully I don't dock. Okay. Yeah. Not a good approach. Already at four seconds and damn it. Yep. Okay, six seconds. That's bad. But oh well. Um I'm not a fan of this. Nor am I a fan of this. This is alright because I can take out the ship, Captain. Hmm. So I have two things I can do. I can try to do this without any of them being notified that I'm there. Uh, the way I would do that is with crash beams. Either with crash beams or I could try to get you to look at me and then... Hmm. Right, let's try that. Uh, we've got a crash beam as a backup plan, but I'm going to try and sneak up on you. Hmm, you're going to see me fairly early, I think. Okay, so the question... Hmm... This will be simplest if I just crash you and then bonk the both of you. Do I use two crash beams here? One crash beam here, one crash beam on both of you. That will make it uh, the fastest, especially since I don't have the most amount of time. This I bet I could do without a crash beam. Okay, you surprisingly have not seen me yet. Actually, I'm going to... Uh, it says space to castle, cancel aim. <laughs> and then it just unpauses on me. Alright. So, we'll be... Uh, I could try and concuss you all the way over here so that you don't set off the alarm or whatever, but that's too much work. So, we will... Bash you, take a gun, shoot you, uh, steal your key, pick up another gun, just get you so you're not shooting at me. Alright. So, 
So, the thing that I can do here, potentially, is throw this. Get both of you to look down and pick it up so it doesn't knock me out. Ah, you took too long to turn around. Rude. Alright, that's something to keep in mind in the future. Um, yeah, we'll just crash both of you. And hope that... Yeah, uh, we get more crash beams or subverters or something. But yeah, so if if I'd waited just a little bit longer and let them turn all the way around, then they don't set the air, the alarm off if you're in their field of vision. Which means uh, the difficult thing would be you not seeing me. Let's see if that would have worked. Yeah, it would have worked. Ah, well. Eh, we've got a bit of a ways to go, so let's start moving this. Pick up another gun. Get a chest. And we'll run to here. Emergency shield. That is useful. Hello. Thank you for the keycard. Uh... It changed from intruder to gunshot. I didn't know that could happen. Okay. Grab whatever is in here. Uh, it's a teleporter of some sort, but... Uh, I can maybe make use of that. Uh, if it's a visitor, never mind, I cannot. Okay. 15, 16 seconds. 15. Not the worst, but that dock is not doing me any favors. Okay, glitch dashing, more heat sensors. At least no one's armored. And all right, <clears throat> still have the one crash beam. I uh, don't think we'll be using it here. Oh shoot! I did not check adequately, so I lost at least a second. Dang. Okay. Hopefully we have a good dock. Okay, ended up with five seconds. Which isn't the absolute worst. I'll just have to live with it. Uh, considering the one to like one and a half seconds I lost. Whoops. Okay, autopilot, so I do need to take out everybody nearby. Um, I want this item. So I will take it. Hello? Uh, it's probably fast enough to just do a bash here or there before the slipstream runs out. Okay. Uh, looks like we're just running through here. 
running through here, running through here, we're just going straight to the chest. Still shield, useful. Get all the guns ready. And apparently all the guns are not ready. There we go. Alright, take the key. Uh, take the hammer. And then everything else is just getting this and then getting out. So let's get the pod moving down here. Okay, don't care what it is. Just want to get out. Alright. Ah, I missed that a little bit. What is it? Hmm. Well, let's hope that it's a Sidewinder. It's not. Oh well. Okay, 12 or so seconds, 12 seconds. All right, that's better. Okay, last one. We've got a shield and autopilot. Hmm. So it is a good thing that we saved it's a good thing that we saved at least one crash beam for this. Uh, the difficult thing will be getting the target out without everybody else sounding alarms. Uh, take a gun, I suppose. All right. I'll we'll probably be using the stealth shield. Okay, just one entrance. And this is alarm response time, so they're orbiting around that star or station. There we go. Okay, so yeah, still shield here. Here. Oh wait, what am I... Okay, this is a steel mission. We're not trying to get these guards um yeah <laughs> okay so our big obstacle is the tracker go this way so we can just steal key steal key run past steal go out the window um if we went this way we'd have to go run all the way over here then run all the way back here, then all the way down here, then up here, and that seems like it's just gonna take a lot longer. So, um, we will be using the emergency shield and the stealth shield. So the stealth shield to try and get past, emergency shield is the backup if they do see us. Then we'll just try and get off the ship before the alarm is sounded. Okay, so we'll run down here. Yep. Not do that, dang it. <sighs> now we undock. Jesus. It's not the first time that's happened to me. 
One little thing, I've noticed that the there's a little bit of squash when you do the thrusters, at least on this one. At least, like, on the front right here. Okay. So, steel card. Crash beam, or emergency shield. That's not at all what a crash beam is. And then run dent here, and now you... Oh, it's, it's, we don't care about bodies, so it's fine if you're standing in there. Okay. Moat control. Get this lined up, and then try and wander past you. Okay, okay, okay. Looks good, yes. <clears throat> okay. Totally could have crashed him. Um, so that things don't get miserable, I'm gonna go ahead and crash you. Get this load right down. Yeah, looks perfect. Open this. Run outside. And I'll stay just in case someone sets off the alarm. I don't think they will. Okay. Nine seconds. Very nice. Yeah, I got progressively better ships on that one. And that leaves me in second place. In case of taking the top score. And King Redbeard not far behind. And followed by Lassar and Darn for the top five. And yeah, we've got nine minutes left. Uh, when Renico does play, it's generally not this close to the end. So this is likely to be the final top five. So yeah, the poor docking on my part really pushed me behind and allowed Kesa to take the lead today. All right. But still mostly happy with my performance. It was pretty much, it was just the docking that I had trouble with today. Anyways, that is all for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.